The Sysos and T-Sys model comes with a skin that goes over the top, a plastic uh, sleeve, if you will, or reservoir, and two bladders, and a clip that, that will keep the uh, fluid in the bladder. So the best way to set this up is to take one of the bladders, we'll move one off to the side here, and we just fold that over on itself and place it through the hole. So once that's in place, then we're going to take our syringe and fill it with water. In this case, we have a 12 mil syringe. You can use it up to a 20 mil easily. Put that in the middle and then just slowly fill water into the bladder. Hold that. Go ahead and do another fill. So that gives us 24 ml of water into of the bladder. Then we're going to start by placing the clamp over the top so that it is ready to clamp. Hold the bladder and the clamp until we get the air out and the water just starts coming out. So now we've got just water in here, a moderately filled bladder. If you're practicing to start with, you might put more water in there to make it easier for the person to palpate. Uh, as they get a little more skilled, you might put less in. So that's, that should be pretty good. We should be able to accomplish that. Now we take the sleeve that goes over the top and we're gonna take the, so it has a thick part and a thin part. And we're gonna start with the thin part going over the top of the neck so that we can get this all in place. And ideally, then we cover the entire bladder with the skin. At this point, you can feel bladder. You can get an impression when you're feeling that. So now we take our syringe and the needle. In this case, we're using a 22 gauge needle, just an inch long needle, and we can palpate the bladder, feel where the bladder is. You can see the bladder moving under the skin. Go straight in. And then we can draw up our simulated urine. If you want to add some yellow food coloring to this to make it a little more realistic, you can bring this out and then we've got a sample. The nice part about this model is that we can palpate, identify where it is, and pull more urine out. Come here and palpate, come in and pull more urine out until we've removed the, uh, probably the first 12 mLs. It, there needs to be at least 12 mLs of fluid in here to be effective, otherwise it flattens out. So you can see that I've removed now probably about eight mLs of fluid. And if we pull this out and have a look, you can appreciate that the bladder is, doesn't have much in it, but still, if we put pressure on it, there's uh, no leakage from that. So it can require many sticks. And then as we are refilling, so it's time to refill, we can take the needle off, fill our syringe again, from the cup, come back, open up the clamp at the edge of the bladder, refill, go a little slow so it doesn't come out. This time we can fill a little bit fuller. We're going to prevent or get this ready for a novice to practice with. Put the clamp around, get it close to closing, squeeze out the extra air, and now we've got a very full bladder that we can put the sleeve back over the top of. Now it's very obvious where the bladder is. Attach the needle to the syringe, palpate, go straight down, and aspirate the simulated urine out of the bladder for a cystocentesis.